Hello everybody, welcome to iOS programming course. From now on, a uh, couple of lectures we will be looking how to make multi-threaded applications. Basically, multi-threaded application means the application which has more than one threads. And threads are very useful when uh, we want to execute some long running method or you know sometime we are performing lengthy tasks or uh, we are downloading some data from server so it's better that we execute that lengthy task on, on another thread and we don't want to block execution of rest of the app and we let our ui responsive so this is why uh, we do multi-threading we can do multi-threading in different ways in ios uh, there is NS thread and then is NS operation queues in which we create NS operation and which provide it to an provide uh, operation to an operation queue and it will like, execute in, uh, whenever it will uh, be with the first item on the queue. And another way is GCD is a grand central dispatch and we can uh, dispatch that to the multi core as well. But to, in today we will be focusing on uh, in this thread and then in the next lecture we will go for operation queues and then uh, we will go for GCDs. I have a demo application created for you. Okay, this is a demo application and what it does it actually have an image view in the center and uh, there are three buttons at the bottom of this thread operation queue and GCD and when I will tap it will load via th NS thread and then with operation queue and with the GCD. Today we will focus on threading part and when I will tap on this thread uh, button then load via NS thread method will call and this is the class if we see the class uh, this is the view did load method in which uh, I am creating a spinner and I'm adding a spinner into the image view and I'm setting a uh, center so it, it it appears in center of the image view see load view and a thread and what it does it start animating the spinner and then it call this load image view by an thread method and what it does it just call a load image view load image method and what is this it's creating a URL and this URL pointing to an image which is hosting hosted into my web server and then it create a, a URL request and uh, after that it's creating in this uh, variables uh, error in response and then and this is the method in this URL connection class level method we send a synchronous request uh, to that URL and get the data back so inside it it means basically it, uh, our request come back with no error and have actually some data so we are going to create an image UI image object from that data and then we will set that image to the image view and then we will st stop animating so the concept is when we will tap on a button then basically first a spinner will uh, start animating and after that uh, when image will load then spinner will stop animating and let's see what what's happening right now if we just tap on thread no spinner and uh, image come back so it mean uh, basically what happens here uh, as both spinner and uh, the load image view method was on the same thread when a uh, load image view method ca get called then uh, it stops it, it was running on the main thread and stops other uh, execution of uh, any other things so uh, we could not see the spinner okay let's create a thread and execute load image by ns thread uh, on that thread method so it makes ui responsive okay okay that's all it's so simple we i create an ns thread object and i give the target self and then i provide a selector and which is basically load image by ns thread and i pass object name because we don't need any object to passing so what actually this does it, it tells ns thread that create a new thread and detach that thread by executing self objects uh, selector which is load image by ns thread basically we are uh, executing this thread on the self object so this is uh, how it uh, how it works and that's how you are creating a new thread run now and see what's happening
Okay, there you go. Uh, you have seen that spinner is spinning and after that image loads. So this is how we make an application multi-threaded. So it, it was quite easy and a thread class capable of and what it, it's do but because this is not uh, just two lines and that's done. There are many things you can do with in a thread class. Okay, let's go into the header file. Okay, there are some important things uh, which you can see. There is a class level method. This is crunt thread. So in, in any method, if you will do ns thread, crunt thread, it will give you what, whatever crunt thread is, whether it's a main thread, it's some detached thread. There is another method, detach new thread selector to target an object. And uh, I think you can guess that this is the replacement of that what we have done so if you are not creating an object uh, you don't want a reference of that object then you can just find detach a new thread by calling this class level method providing a selector and object on which the selector will execute and that's done you can check uh, uh, whether your application is multi-threaded and you can call ns thread is multi-threaded and it will return yes if any uh, thread previously detached from the main thread then it will be basically considered as a multi-threaded and if there is no thread already detached from main thread then it will it will consider as a single threaded and it will return no sometimes you want uh, to stop thread some point or you want to just wait so there are some method this is sleep until date you will provide an in a state object for example one month later or one day later a uh, minute later and it will stop until that date and when sleep for time interval this is basically time interval is a second and uh, it will sleep for the second which you will provide it this is the exit thread you can call this exit so it will exit the current thread and usually it's not a good idea uh, you're exiting at the middle of something if you need to perform some cleanup operations and for that I will tell you later what you should do perform selector on main thread basically if you are on the thread and you need to perform some uh, work on a main thread for example you want to update some UI on a main thread then you need to call uh, pass that selector to this method and it will call on the main thread and uh, there are some methods which I need to tell you. This is the cancel method. And basically what it will do, it will just set the status of uh, your current executing thread uh, to canceled, but it will not exit that thread. What advantage it uh, give us, it, it's basically, if you want to perform some cleanup operation, so this is how you can uh, do that. So uh, this is basically what uh, the important things about the MS thread. Next time we will talk about the operation queues. Till then, bye.